Hi guys and welcome back to Twisted Locker, your definitive horror podcast. Today we're going to be reviewing a trailer for a movie. Isn't it mad that we live in a day and age where we're reviewing trailers for movies that we're probably going to review when the movie comes yeah. out? It's like Gogglebox and I fucking hate that show. I never watch it, <laughs> but I'm I'm do I'm cashing in. <laughs> hey guys, do you want to watch us watching a trailer? Come on in. Right. We've got M Night's new movie Trap. I'm a huge M Night fan, so I'm looking forward to this one. Neither of us have seen the trailer yet. Let's uh, let's get into it. Sounds good. Right. Let me give a little screen share. Right. Get that back to the start. Ladies let's do and it. gentlemen, put your hands together for Lady Raven. I love the fact that I don't know anything about this movie. Oh, do you know why? I... I I can't help myself. I read up loads about it. If that isn't Taylor Swift, I don't know who it is. Yeah. So far, this looks shit. Oh, come off it. You can't judge a trailer 10 seconds in. Oh, Josh Hart, there's too tall to be there. No kids can see. <laughs> Was seven too, foot to answer of anything. <laughs> He's in front of some kid. <laughs> I hate that Zagat. <laughs> right. Hi. Cooper, Jamie. What's with all the police trucks outside? The cameras everywhere, Jamie. I'm not supposed to. And don't tell. Out. Don't tell. Yeah. Something happening. But now I'm interested. Don't me out. I won't. You know the butcher? The freaking nut job that goes around just chopping people up? Well, the feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for him. This whole concert? It's a trap. It looks pretty cheesy for now. Uh, Checking everyone no. please. You just hate them, like, don't you? You hate them. I do. I, lo I love him, but I just I tighten up you know, these days when he makes a film. No, I, th I I like I like this. It's different. It looks like it's going to be a one location movie, and I love movies like that. Oh, he is the bad guy. I'm sorry, Riley. What was that? I'm ready. Down in front. <laughs> in the world of M Night. Yeah. I do like, I do like sort of films, I guess, but I don't know. I don't trust M Night anymore. You kind of dope, right? <laughs> yeah. I'd sack that guy straight away. He's used to keep a secret. <laughs> no. He's, I know he's on minimum wage, but come on, you know. <laughs> he gave that up way too easy. I know. Yeah, he was like, I'm like, mate, you fucking one secret you had. <laughs> that um, was Josh Hartnett. <laughs> I gotta tell him. It's a bit odd that they've used like a kid's concert to set up an entrapment for a serial killer, but I suppose, like he said, they knew he was coming in anyway. So yeah. what else are they gonna do? Like so um, I'm guessing he's bought tickets. And like, but but how do they know that? Like, they're on like, hey, he's bought some tickets. Let's get there. It's like, if you know that much about him, you'd be able to catch him in the shop. <laughs> in the shop. <laughs> Buy sweets to, to sneak in. <laughs> do you know what? I think it looks great, right? I haven't lost any faith in M. Night. He had that dip, but he's been consistent enough with his newer films uh, for me to trust him. And I love that this movie looks like an event, an experience, and I love that it looks yeah. like it's going to be set in this one place. And I know Josh Hartnett is a bit picky. He was gone for a long time, and I know he's a bit picky with his project, so there's got to be something in there for him to go, I want to be a part of this. I think yeah. it looks great, and it looks different. I love that he never treads the same water. that he's always doing something different from his last film. Um, I think it looks great. I I really like the look of this film. Yeah, I I will look. I I always I haven't seen the last Airbender, and I don't intend to. Yeah, okay? yeah. I will watch it. I slag off at him a lot because I love him so much. And comes from a place his, of love. 
Yeah, and all his stories are amazing, like elevator pitches. Um, the yeah. problem with M. Night Shyamalan has is that he has a great idea and he doesn't execute it very well sometimes. Uh, he needs to work with another writer to sort of flesh his ideas out to make to make them yeah. better uh, rather than just going wherever he's got and not working with anybody, you know? And I don't, I think that's his flaw. Definitely. Um, what excites me about this film is that we've got the big reveal in the trailer. Now, I've seen some people complaining, saying the trailer's given this, this, this and that away. You're forgetting that this is M. Night. And what I love about this yeah. trailer, right, is we know the exact plot of the movie and by the looks of the trailer, we know that Josh Hadnett is the butcher and the set yeah. for him. But what is M. Night going to do to blow us away with this movie? And that's what excites me because we've got the big twist. He's the killer. He's the one being trapped and he's taking his daughter to see this Lady Raven. Uh, yeah. By M. Night's daughter, I believe, or, or, or relation to him. Um, that? Now, that's what's exciting to me is what is the twist going to be and where is this film going? Um, I'm super excited for this film. I'm really looking forward to this one. Yes, I'll give it a chance uh, and we review it when it comes out, definitely, 100%. Awesome. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.